You know, my friend, I put on this tie today that I'm wearing, and I thought, that's my John McCain tie. I bought this. It shows you how old it is during the 2000 presidential campaign because I saw the tie on TV and I liked it. Now, that's not a political statement. I also have Joe Biden ties and uh, others. But um, I just thought about that this day. In James 5, verse 16, it says, Pray for one another so that you may be healed. What does that mean? If you pray for another, you're the one healed? Yes, first because the love and the power of God comes through you. It funnels through you, your mind and your body, your soul, your essence. And it is a wonderful privilege to bless others in our prayers. I encourage you to do it every day. Don't just go through your day with other people. Silently pray for them. You don't have to tell them you're praying for them, but do it anyway. We do not hesitate to offer assistance ever to our friends or family members who need our help because we love them and we want to do our best for them. And we can give our best and do our best for our loved ones by blessing them in prayer. Prayer is a powerful and it is an effective help that we can always give to others, whether they're right beside us or thousands of miles away. So let's remind ourselves that throughout this day, we can give thanks for our worldwide family and include those we know and don't know in our prayers. I have many people that are praying with you that have never met you, and yet they consider it a privilege, as do I. Let us pray. God, thank you for every person on earth, for blessing each one of us with your shining light and your love. As we let you help us to help each other, We will live in harmony and live in peace. Dear God, we are one with you, and we become even more aware that we are one with each other through your wonderful love that comes through us, each of us, toward another. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.